back to my youtube channel is your girl augusta if you're new here please click on the button below and subscribe to my channel and if you're not thank you so much for the support so in this video i'm going to show you guys how i made this puff ponytail or the pom-pom ponytail it's a very easy hairstyle you can make by yourself it doesn't take much time you, you can make it for maybe a wedding a date or maybe you're going to school or something like you can make it for just anything it doesn't take much time and it's very affordable so i'll go right in to show you guys how i made it stay tuned so guys i straightened my hair and trimmed this right before making this video i have a video on that i'm going to post it later on and as you can see, I'm doing this on a dry hair. It's a personal preference. You can do it on a wet hair if you want to. So guys, the first thing I'm going to add into my hair is some coconut oil. I'm going to try and get a link to all the um, products I used in this video and add it in the description box. I'm going to massage the coconut oil into my hair and then go ahead and add some leave-in conditioner. I think I used the Koi's Blueberry Leave-in Conditioner hair. I'm not so sure, but I'm going to also add that in the description box. So I'm going to brush out my hair a little bit and then put it in a very loose bun. I'm going to go ahead and add some Echo Styling Gel into my hair. I think this is the one with olive oil. I'm going to add it only on the outer part of my hair just because I don't want too much gel in my hair. I'm going to go ahead and brush my hair once more. And then I'll add some, um, I think, the Hair Booster Edge Control into my hair. I'm going to put the hair booster edge control only on the edge of my hair and after that I'm going to try and put my hair in a very tight bun. So guys, I divided the hair from the bun into two, braided it and wrapped it around each other. I went ahead to use a pin to hold it down, but I later removed the pin and I used the rubber band to hold it down because I feel that is more secure. I didn't really show that in this video. So I just used water, I applied water all over my hair just to slick down the hairs flying out and then I used a satin scarf to tie down my hair. So I'm going to show you guys two ways of making this puff ponytail. I'm using the Miley braiding hair here. Yeah? I think I got it for $7. I can't remember. Um, so I'm trying to make the tip of the hair uneven here by layering it. And I'm so sorry this video wasn't showing that clearly. I'm going to use one of these hair scrunchies to kind of... Um, make a loop on the hair like hold it together and make a loop can you guys see the loop so make sure you did this in the middle of the hair i'm going to go ahead now and make the puff by holding the hair where i want the puff to be and then i'm going to take one of those crunches and tie it around there you can tie it two to three times it depends on you and also you can decide to make your puff big or small and um please don't pull this hair when you're making the puff because it won't be so puffy so i'm going to show you guys what i did again so when you get to the tip of the hair you can use maybe a wool to wrap like tight uh, or you use one piece of the mali hair just bring that out before making the puff and then use it to wrap it around i think i was saying what i was doing in my mind that was why i was demonstrating so guys this is what the ponytail looks like 
Our advice use a scissors to trim out the hairs flying out before you attach this on your bun. So I went ahead to make an opening on the first puff. And then I used the loop to attach the hair on my bun. I would advise to do this from the front, like your hair is facing is on your face and the opening you made is facing out. And then I went ahead to flip this hair back and I put in the bun into the opening I made on the first puff. I believe you guys can understand what I'm saying. So guys, I went ahead to use pins to secure the ponytail on the bun. Guys, please trim this hair before you attach it to your hair. I feel like it's easier that way. So guys, this is the second way of making this puff ponytail. Just like the first one, you take one of the scrunchies, use it to hold the hair together and make a loop in the middle of the hair. Please remember to layer the hair so you can make the tip uneven. Go ahead and attach the hair directly on your head. The difference between this method and the first one is um, the first one you have to make the puff before attaching it on your hair. But in this method, you have to like make the puff when it's already attached on your head. So go ahead and start making the puff. Use one of the scrunchy and um, you know like hold the hair where you want the puff to be. So when you get to the tip of the hair, use one piece of the Mali hair to like tie the last puff and wrap it around the tip of the hair. Just remember to remove one piece of this uh, Mali hair. And I feel like doing it this way makes the tip look neat and um, kind of way easier. So guys, I'm done with the hair and this is what it looks like. Let me know which of the two methods you think is easier and the one you are going to try out. And if you are still here, thank you so much for the support. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment on my video and hit the like button. See ya some other time.